the Adobe User Group WA uses meetup.com to host its formal meetings and also to maintain its membership base. So for you to become a member of the Adobe User Group WA, as well as sign up for any meetings that you want to attend or register for any meetings that you want to attend, you need to become a person who's signed up for meetup.com and once you've done that you'll be able to log in to meetup.com and join any groups that are available on meetup that have your particular interest and once you've joined a group you will also be able to register for the meetings. I'll take you through the four steps that are required for you to eventually register for our first launch meeting. So step number one would involve going to meetup.com in your web browser and clicking on sign up. So there's two different ways in which you can sign up for meetup. The easiest way is if you have a Facebook account to just use your Facebook credentials to sign up for meetup. And that's a matter of clicking on sign up using Facebook and then you might be asked for your Facebook credentials, your username and password. And once you've done that, you can use those credentials to log in to meetup and eventually sign up and join a user group. If you don't want to use your Facebook account or you might not be on Facebook, then the alternate way of signing up is to enter the details in the bottom of this dialog box. So I'll click in the three boxes one by one, enter your name. Now note between brackets it does tell you this will be public. We would prefer to have at least your first name so that we know who you are when you attend the user group eventually but it's totally okay if you don't want to put your surname in or just the first initial of your surname for privacy reasons. Next click in the email box and type in the email address and this email address will be used for a number of reasons. You will later on use it as your login to log into meetup.com and also depending on your email settings and preferences that email address might be used for you to receive notifications of new meetings and messages from the Adobe User Group WA when you join as a member. Once you've entered your email address, click in the pick a password. You can create your own password. We strongly recommend that you use a password that has numbers and letters and maybe some uppercase and lowercase characters and some special characters in it for security reasons to not make it easy for people to possibly break your account. That's just a little tip. Once you've done that, click the sign up button here. So that's only when you use that bottom section of this uh, window to sign up for meetup.com and you will receive an email in your email box confirming that you've signed up and you will need to click on the link to confirm that that was your email and you are the rightful owner of that email account. Once you've done that, we can go to the next step and that will be logging in. We've signed up for meetup.com and we're ready to log in. When you go to meetup.com, the login is in the top right hand corner. Click the login button and then either use the login using Facebook button if you've opted originally to use your Facebook account or alternatively use the email address and the password that you've used to sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address and password and I'll see you again once I've logged in. Now that I've logged in, I can actually see uh, my image because it's picking that up from my Gravatar image. And I can see that I've not joined any meetups yet. So I want to go to the Adobe User Group WA and I want to join that particular group because I love Adobe software and technologies. So the address for that user group, you already know that, but we'll just type in the link again, meetup.com. 
facebook.com forward slash Adobe user group WA. You'll see it right there. And then just hit the enter key and you will see the welcome message for the user group. And there's a bright red button there that says join us. So as soon as you do that, you become a member. And if there's any meetings already registered that you can register for, you might see a button that says, look, do you want to sign up and attend our meeting? Click join us. So there's a little message welcoming you, welcoming you to the user group and you can now immediately check out the next meetup or you might opt to just look around for a bit. So I'll click on that bottom link because what that does, that kind of takes you back to what you see whenever you log in and you go back to the user group when you're a member already. So we're here in the left hand column we can see that there's upcoming meetings but generally you will also be able to see that there's an upcoming meeting right here and to access the information for this particular meeting and to let us know that you're attending what you do is you click on this link And then in the top right hand corner, this little area actually tells you whether you've registered, yes or no, and whether you've sent an RSVP. So this little area will change once you've registered for the meeting. Okay, so to let us know that you'll be attending the meeting, click on yes. And you've now basically said, yes, I'll be attending this meeting. And there's some other things that you can look at, and I'll let you do that at your own leisure. That's like you can edit your profile or you can edit your email and notification settings, which controls when you receive emails from meetup.com. You might find that you receive too many email notifications for all sort of different reasons, and you can actually switch some of those off using the email and notification settings. I'd like to say thank you so much for joining the Adobe User Group WA and I really look forward to seeing you at one of our future meetings.